Welcome back, guys, to another episode of The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. So, I think this is, I believe, where their, te our, their teacher is in there. And you're going to find out what I'm going to do next. Alright. Alright. Yeah, basically, she, her students are troublemaking kids, and she wants me to go out there and deal with them. But, even though I'm going to have to deal with them, it's going to be fun for me, and you'll find out why. Alright, well... Yeah, you, you can kind of just tell that... They don't respect the teacher. But this is just going to be a good old game of hide and seek. They say they won't hide in indoors or nothing and we won't leave the island. Well, definitely don't leave the island. <laughs> so we just have to look for them around. They're saying we just have to look for them around town. And if, if we catch all four of them, then we win something. We win something special. I'm not going to... Again, I'm not going to say what will win, so, yeah, even though I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have already played this game, but still, just because it's a walkthrough video, I have been in you. Sorry, bud, no time. But basically, all we just need to do is find, play hide and seek with these guys. very first time I played this game, this was actually the last guy I had to deal with. There, you got me. I believe one is... I'm getting close to another one of them. Really don't need any rupees right now. Okay. Yeah, okay, she's probably... Right there. You're awesome. Thank you. All right, now let me. Oh, yeah, I don't think any of them are. Are hiding. I think a lot of them are hiding out in this out here. I mean, they said they wouldn't hide inside the buildings, but that probably means that they decide to hide in the areas outside of town. Alright, so now 75% of this little mini game is complete. Alright, no, no, we're good. Alright. Okay. Hey! Thought you said you wouldn't leave the island. <laughs> Arr, I can't believe it. You found all four of us. And you caught all of us, too. Talk about utter defeat. Looks like we lost our touch, killer bees. What touch? 
All right, we got another piece of heart. All we need is two more. All right, this is our favorite possession, but you've proven that you're worthy of it. GR Bud, the hide and seek master. Oh, and one more thing. We need you to apologize to Miss Murray for us, all right? We're counting on you, Bud. All right, yeah. I think that probably shouldn't take too long. It would be nice. It would be nice for them since I kind of did them a favor. Or did the teacher a favor. What can I do for you on this fine day? Alright, we need to talk. Alright, she's basically happy that we, that I dealt with them. You can't fool me. I watched it all from the shadow of my door. You really are a dear. You fill me with joy. I have to reward, reward you with a pure little spare change. Alright, so we have- Oh! Yeah, I- Yeah, I forgot that she gives us 50 rupees. <sighs> Alright. Oh yeah, the Joy Penance. That's why I mentioned back at the Forsaken Fortress. Okay, all I'm just gonna say is for the Forsaken Fortress, we just need to we need to give enough of those to the teacher. Uh, it's a little early to mention how much we should give her, but I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you anyway. We need to give her 20 of those, and I won't. I will not tell you why it's a requirement. I will not tell you the requirement of why we need to give her 20, but I'll just say we need to give her 20. Because that will be required. Alright. Oh, look at... Oh, God, look in your eye. You, you found yourself a sail, haven't you? Well, I found it for you. Very well, then. I shall teach you the art of sailing. Come to my hole and press A to climb aboard. Set the sail you've got to Y, Z, or X. And press that same button to, to hoist it. Sail will catch the wind. Which will pull the boat forward. The up that appears behind me indicates wind direction. Oh yeah, I understand all of it. Yeah, the, he's basically now explained that how the importance of the sea chart. All right, now it's time to equip the good old sail. Okay, wait, which way are we going? Oh yeah. You know what? Okay. You know, in most games, in a lot, a lot of, in the later parts of my walkthroughs, yes, I will show you. I will show you where I'll be sailing. I'll be showing be showing some sail cut scenes, but for now, since I'm just go only going from one place to another, or like when I start looking for other important stuff, I'll sh I'll be showing some sailing scenes. But I'm just gonna go go ahead and fast forward the video to where we reach the island. So. So, I will see you guys in a moment. I will, I will see you guys there. Alright, here we are at, at Dragon Roost Island. Okay. So, like, whenever I'm going from a, an important, one important island to another important island, you know, I think I might just skip, I might just skip through the sail fast forward the sailing scenes, the parts where I start sailing, but when I start going from very, from not very important islands to not very important islands or small islands to small islands, then yeah, I'll just, I'll just have, I'll show scenes of where I am sailing. But now here, I'm going to go ahead and start working with the Wind Waker. It'll be, it's something else very critical for this game. So it's small. So it looks like this game has a small, 
has a connection from this to Ocarina of Time, which you get to use an instrument. Oh, oh. Wasn't paying attention. That's it, Michael. That was not bad for your first time using the Wind Waker. Not bad at all. You can also conduct it within six. All right, we were we got the Wind Waker, the legendary Wind Waker, by using this magical conductor baton. You can borrow the power of the gods. All right. Okay, now. Start it. Yeah, I kind of knew throwing it from a distance, that distance, probably wasn't such a great idea. Yellow Ruby. Hey, I guess it's really not... I don't think it'll probably be necessary to, to announce what rubies I've got... rupees I've gotten. Okay, maybe I should start... Well, at least I blew up that rock. Okay, no, again, no spoilers, but I'll just say later on in this game, there will be an easier way of getting across besides doing this. I believe that is the same bird delivery man from Outside Island. Michael! Michael, is that you? It is. I am pleased to see you're okay. I must say, you've come far, far for one with no wings. Well, I mean, people can travel far with other ways besides wings. Yeah, now we get now this is where we get to meet some of some of the birdmen on this island. All right, yep. All right. Now let's continue. This is where we get to make up our way up. Up. Dragon Roost Island. Well, ha well, have you discovered the cause of the Great Balu's anger? All right, so they're. Yeah, they're concerned about us. They're, these bird men are concerned about us as well. The raging, yep, the raging dragon with the. Yeah, Balu. Yep, I believe that is the name of the red dragon that that you see at the top of Dragon Roost Island. Whenever you're within a distance of sailing. Outside of Dragon Roost Island. Alright, as a chicken of the Rito, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? Yeah. Yep, yeah, I have some... I can keep, keep myself busy while I wait for whatever they're... For how they're trying to help us.
Alright, and I believe that there's going to be another important female character in this game. Alright, okay, yes, this is important as well, a delivery bag. <sighs> Alright, you should find Mally in one of the upper rooms. Leave the Great Balu to us. In the, mean in the meanwhile, do your best to aid Prince Kamali. Now let's continue to make our way up, up Dragon Roost Island. Wow, you really do have green clothes and a strange shaped hat. You're Michael, aren't you? Oh, me? I'm an attendant to the Great Sky Spirit Valley. My name is Medley. Well, to tell you the truth, I'm not an atten attendant quite yet. I'm actually still starting to be one. Oh, what am I thinking? Here, this is from the sh chef, and Michael. He wants you to give this directly to Prince Kamali. All right, so we got the father's level. We got the father's letter, and I believe this is from his Kamali's father. So let's uh, go ahead and make our way to his room. I have a small favor I'd like to- Oh, could you please come to the entrance of the Dragon Roost ca Cavern later? Explain everything left then. Yeah, I think whenever you see, like, a certain letter- words in different colors, some of the text in different colors, that implies that you either have to do something important or look for something important, or go to someplace important. Okay. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and equip the the letter. Just show it to Prince Kamali, the dude that that was being mentioned. Oh, sure, telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through that horrible experience. It's not like he still has to to get a scale from Balu. Yeah, whenever, whenever, yeah, whenever a name is in red letters, that means, or a different color letters, and that means that person's important. Okay. It, it, that Okay, I should I shouldn't do so much rolling. At least when I'm going up the stairs, but rolling just for some reason rolling just feel like it makes me go faster. Okay, I believe Medley went out here. Maybe... Okay, I believe this is where we're supposed to... This is the door I was supposed to come out of. There she is. Hey, you actually came. I'm really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place. I. I, I had to. I wouldn't ha have asked if I didn't need help desperately. You see this place there used to be? I'm gonna tr All right. Yeah, I think what she had said, I'll just kind of give a description of what she says, that, that like, this used to be a spring here, but then there, the lava kind of got rid of this 
little spring area here. See, Prince Kamali's grandmother was the Grey Ballad's. Uh, yeah, I know I tend to press the A button a lot. Alright, so basically she wants to, to go up into the caverns of Dragonroost Island. Alright, but I'm afraid I cannot do that just yet. Because there's something else that I need to get that will help me a whole lot. But we're kind of wasting time. I think time's kind of running out, so I'm going to fast forward to where I am going to go. So, yeah. Alright. I need to learn this song. This is the very first song you will learn with the Wind Waker. And this will probably help me to get Medley to the top. And in order to get to this place, in order to get to this place, it's not too hard. It's once you arrive at, at like the entrance to this place, it's just basically right in front of you for whatever you re um, reach the front of Dragon Roost Island. And basically, this song controls the directions of the, of the wind of where you're going. The name's Zephyrus. I'm the god of the winds. So you're the wind, the new wind waker, are you? Great, great. For a beginner, you've got a nice wind sense about you. I like you, kid. That tune you just picked up, well, it gives you control over the direction the wind blows. Depending on how it's used, wind can be a good thing, or a very bad thing. You want an example of being a bad thing? Then you should see my brother. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I think one of his brothers will learn another... Actually... Yeah, basically he's kind of giving a description of one of his other brothers. But, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward um, to the part where I head back head, head back up to the top to meet up with Medley. So I will meet you, see you guys out there. Alright, so now we're about to meet up back up here with Medley. You know, I probably shouldn't, I probably shouldn't skip to certain parts too often. Didn't think I'd come back. All right, well, now, here's what I'm gonna do. I need to make sure the wind is blowing them out in the direction that I want my wind to fly in. And I am looking in that direction right now. All right, Medley. Alright, here goes nothing. And she made it. Well, thank you. I'll be able to cut, climb Dragon Roost Island and meet with the Great Valley. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I may just be an a, a, apprentice attendant, but I, I, I can understand some of the Great Valley's language. I'm not exactly bursting with confidence, but... Look, if anything happens to me, please look after Prince Kamali for me. Well, I, this is all I have to give you. I know it's not much, but please take it. All right, we got an empty bottle. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I'm going to use with it, going to do with it. For both of us. Yep, we will be, we are going to be going in the same direction as her. All right. Now I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next.
Darn it. Boom. Now we've restored all, looks like we have restored all of the water in this area of uh, Dragon Roots Island. All right, this part gets tricky. It requires good enough, good aim. So now we have entered the the, the Dragon Roost Caverns. But I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video for now. And next video we will make our way through the Dragon Roost Caverns and get up to back to the Red Dragon of this dungeon. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you all I will see you on the next video, alright? Alright, cool. Thanks, guys. All right. Bye.